Hi friends, Miss Burns here, and we are back for another math lesson for all of our first grade friends at Bethune. So continuing on from last week where we were learning all about how to use objects and draw pictures to add one digit and two digit numbers, today we're going to be drawing pictures to add a two digit number to a two digit number. So let's talk about our I can statement. I can draw pictures to add a two digit number to a two digit number whose sum, that's what we get when you put your two numbers together, is less than 100. So we're gonna see some vocabulary throughout this lesson that's gonna help us better understand what we're learning. We know that when we add, we're putting together. For example, if we were to add 10 plus two, we would get 12. Notice that I drew a picture here to show what was happening. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing today as we add our two digit numbers plus our two digit numbers. Now you might be asking, well, Ms. Burns, what's a two digit number? Great question. Two digit numbers have both a tens place and a ones place. The first digit is telling us how many tens that number has. The second digit tells us how many ones. For example, the number 15 has one 10 and five ones. The number 28 has two tens and eight ones, and so on. Now that's different from a one digit number that only has a number in the ones place. Okay. As we are adding today, we're gonna to use everything we know about place value. Place te value tells us how much a number is worth depending on where it is. If a number is in the tens place, that tells us how many groups of 10 we have. If it's in the ones place, it tells us how many ones. For example, with the number 25, we know 25 is made of two tens and five ones. This two actually tells us two tens, not just two, one, two, two tens. The five is in the, in the ones place, it tells us we have five ones. And just to review, a one is any number we have from one to nine. We represent that with a square when we are drawing it. You could also represent it inside of our 10 frame, keeping in mind that we're only gonna go up to nine. If we fill in our 10 frame, we no longer have ones, we have a 10. 10 ones, if you were to stack them all together or fill that 10 frame, we replace with a stack or a rod or a stick, we call that a 10. So we're gonna use all of these words as we work today. Now on Friday, when we were working, we were adding two digit numbers plus one digit numbers by drawing pictures. Today we're gonna to add two two digit numbers. For example, the numbers 21 and 17, both are two digits. They both have a number in the tens place and numbers in the ones place. Let's take a look at how we did this on Friday. On Friday, we were just talking about two digit plus one digit. And every time we drew a picture, we drew sticks or rods to represent the number of tens in our number. And then we drew squares to represent the number of ones in a number. We remembered that we're going to use what we know about place value, what we know about tens and ones, and we can set up our place value chart to help our brain organize this information. Once we have stacked our equation vertically and placed our place value chart, we can draw our pictures and add our ones, then tens, moving down our place value chart. Today we're gonna to make it a little bit trickier, a little more challenging for ourselves by adding two digit numbers to two digit numbers. So now both of our add-ins or the numbers we're going to be adding together are going to have two digits. One number is in the tens place, another in the ones place. A number in the tens place, a number in the ones place. And we're gonna follow the exact same steps we're gonna make sure that we are drawing pictures for our tens as well as our ones. We're gonna move down our place value chart by adding our ones, then our tens. Let's go ahead and get started with our first example. And I want you guys to just watch me as I work through this first problem. And then in the next two problems, if you wanna go ahead and try them with me, you are more than welcome. Okay, so as we were saying, our first problem is 21 plus 17. We wanna know what's 21 plus 17. We could turn this into a story problem and we can imagine that there are 21 birds flying in the sky and then we see 17 more and we want to know how many we have all together. 
Well, I'm going to move this problem. Right now it's written horizontally from side to side. I want it to go vertically or up and down because that's going to help my brain see how I can take advantage or use what I know about place value to solve this problem. So I'm writing my problem up and down. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my place value chart. Now, these are two digit numbers. Each of them has a number or a digit in the tens place, t for tens, and a number or a digit in the ones place, o for ones. Today we're drawing pictures to solve these problems. So I remember, or my chart, my anchor chart tells me that if I want to draw or represent tens, I'm going to use sticks or rods. And if I want to draw or represent ones, I'm going to draw squares. So the first addend or number I'm representing is 21. I'm going to show that by drawing two sticks or rods. Be careful, this is not the number 11. Each of these sticks or rods represents a 10. 10, 20, which is what this two represents, two groups of 10. Now I'm going to draw my ones. I have one, one. Remember, I'm pretending I've got an invisible 10 frame I'm trying to fill up. That's going to help me once I get to regrouping, where I actually end up creating another group of 10s with these ones over here. All right, I showed my first added to 21. Now let's show my 17. Well, 17 is made up of one group of 10 and seven leftover ones. Let me draw my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretending there's an invisible 10 frame here. That's going to help me out when I get to regrouping. Okay, now all I have to do is move down my place value chart and add up my ones, then add up my tens. Well, some friends might be saying, well, Miss Burns, I can very easily figure out what this one plus seven is because it's almost like I'm moving this one into this invisible 10 frame. And I know that five and three on the bottom is eight. I have eight ones. If you weren't sure, you could start with your bigger number and add one. Seven plus one is eight. Now I'm going to move over to my groups of ten. I have two tens plus one ten. That's three tens. So 21 plus 17 is the same as 38. That's also telling me I have three tens and eight ones. I drew a picture to show my groups of 10. I also drew pictures to show my ones. That's a great strategy because whenever I'm taking a test or I'm working out a problem, I'll always have a scrap piece of paper and a pencil to be able to draw these pictures. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. And if you'd like, you can actually answer this one right along with me and check your work as we go. So the first, the next problem, excuse me, that we're gonna solve, again, we're adding two digit numbers plus two digit numbers, is 36 plus 23. Now the first thing you should be asking yourself is, is it gonna help me to keep this horizontally? Hmm, if I wanna use what I know about place value, I wonder if I can make it go, you're right, vertically. So let's go ahead and move our problem and make it go vertically or up and down. 36 plus 23. Now, our next step, remember we're trying to take advantage of place value and what we know about place value. Our next step is to, you're right, we're gonna put in our place value chart. I'm gonna draw my place value chart. I'm gonna label my first column T for tens, my next column O for ones. You got it. Go ahead and take a second and see if you can actually draw a picture to represent 36. Remembering we draw sticks or rods for our tens and we draw squares for our ones. If you drew this, three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. You are on track. Nice job, friend. Let's go ahead and draw 23. Two tens. How many ones are we gonna draw, friends? You're right, 
three ones because we have a three in the ones place. Now, we're adding, so think about our next step. After we draw our pictures, we have to do what? You're right, we're gonna move down our place value chart and add our ones and then our tens. Let's go ahead and do that. If we start with six and count on three more, we've got six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three is nine. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our tens, nicely done. We have three tens plus two tens. Well, three plus two is five. So three tens plus two tens is five tens, which is really telling us we have 50 there. 36 plus 23 must be 59, which is the same as five tens and nine ones. Great job, friends. Let's try one last one. Go ahead and clear off your board. Here's our final problem. Okay, we want to know what is the sum or what do you get when you add 42 plus 15? Now I know the first thing you're thinking. Miss Burns, write it vertically. It's gonna help you take advantage and show what you know about place value. I agree, let's do it. We're gonna write it vertically, that's up and down. 42 plus 15, and then I'm going to insert or draw in my, you got it, my place value chart. That's gonna help show what I know about place value. We're labeling the first column T4 tens, our second column O4 ones. Today we're working on drawing pictures to represent each two digit number that we are adding. So we're gonna go ahead and draw sticks or rods for tens. And we're gonna draw, you got it, squares for ones. Good. 42. Well, I know that that's made up of four tens, one, two, three, four, and two ones. 15, oh, that's easy. I know that T numbers are made up of a group of 10 and some leftover ones. So we have one 10 and five leftover ones. One, two, three, four, five. What's our next step, friends? Well, if we go back to our chart, after we've drawn our pictures to help us solve, we're moving down our place value chart. We're gonna add our ones, then our tens. Okay, let's figure out what two plus five is. Now that might be a, a math fact that you know really quickly off the top of your head. If you're not sure, take your bigger number and you can count on five, six, seven. We have seven ones. Let's count up our tens. Four plus one, that's a math fact that we know. Four plus one is five, or in this case, four tens plus one ten is five tens. So 42 plus 15 is 57, which is the same as five tens and seven ones. Awesome job, friends. So today, let's go back and review what we were able to accomplish. Today, we drew pictures to add a two-digit number to a two-digit number. Remembering that two-digit numbers are those numbers that have a digit in the tens place as well as the ones place. We added them together by drawing pictures and their sum or the answer when we put them together was less than 100. Keep in mind that drawing pictures is a great strategy to use because you're always gonna have a piece of paper and a pencil when you're taking any kind of test. As we keep moving through the week, friends, we're gonna start doing some trickier problems. This week and last week, we did a whole bunch of one-digit and two-digit addition problems without regrouping, without creating another group of 10. Every time we added our ones together, we only had ones over here. We never had more than nine. Well, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna to start showing you what happens when the number of ones we have is bigger than nine. Make sure that you scroll right down below this video and click on the link to complete your assignment. As always, if you have any questions, friends, 
please let your teacher know and they will be happy to help you out. Thanks so much and see you in the next one.